Today is the official start of wildfire season in the city of Santa Rosa, but many firefighters warn the risk of wildfires is not tied specifically to any particular date. KTV's Brooks Rose has a closer look at the fire concerns this summer in the North Bay. There's a growing problem in Santa Rosa that if left unaddressed could cause catastrophic consequences. This is exactly what we don't want to see. We want properties that are cleaned up. Fire Chief Paul Lowenthal says his crew is starting inspections, 12,000 before year's end to prevent major wildfires. Some owners have already taken action. They've done a great job of, of clearing a lot of the dead and down fuels. Um, they've got their trees limbed up, they've got the grasses cut down. After years of drought, more rain has meant more growth and more of a need to cut and recut dry vegetation. The city officially declared Monday the start of wildfire season. My mind is always fire prevention. Rachel Clark is a Sonoma County realtor. She says cleaning up around your property can save you money on your homeowner's insurance policy, but it can also keep you, your family, and neighbors safe. They need to do the home hardening. They need to participate in firewise programs and fire safety. Do the weed abatement. Be proactive. But not everyone has kept things clean or under four inches high. It looks pretty bad, you know. In the Fountain Grove neighborhood, hard hit by the 2017 fires, rebuilding is happening. But vacant lots also sit overgrown, covered in weeds and seasonal grasses concerning neighbors. So that's a really bad for our doggies. So we started pulling the weeds because we're thinking about them. New CAL FIRE data shows this year there have been close to 1,400 wildfires statewide, compared with 2,500 at this time last year. Still, that lower number right now is expected given the abundant rain, but that could all change if the dried out weeds and brush aren't cut and cleared. If they don't deal with it uh, through our inspection process, we have the ability to actually bring in our own contractor and abate the property. And that comes at a cost to the homeowner, billed for time and effort, as the city gets serious about being prepared and wildfire ready. The fire chief tells me it typically costs homeowners a couple hundred dollars to maintain their property and keep it free of weeds. But if the city has to come out, inspect, have a contractor do it, and re-inspect, you could be on the hook for more than $1,000. In Santa Rosa, Brooks to Rose, KTVU, Fox 2 News.